This is KLBK's The Blitz, Friday Night High School Football, sponsored by Sonic. Hello everyone and welcome into We Two State Playoffs on KLBK's The Blitz. I am KLBK sports reporter Arielle Schaefer. Now many of our local teams are still in the hunt for their ticket to Jerry's World. While there were some games that were blowout games, but there was no short of exciting finishes between today and yesterday. And I can't wait to share all the action from this week with y'all. But with that being said, let's get right to the games. First, we're going to start with Lubbock Cooper Pirates going off against El Paso Parkland. And the Pirates offense took no time to get the ball rolling. First quarter, Hulk Gibson handoff to Caleb Stripling, who takes a simple route to the end zone. 7 0 Pirates with 9 11 left in the first quarter. A little later, a Pirate interception sets up this ball again. It's a duo of Gibson to Stripling, and boom, he takes off. He is so fast, y'all. He's going to run out of the frame. He'll take his 73 yards to the hole. Pirates will be up 17 0. Still in the first now, it's going to be Pirate ball again, this time in the red zone. Handoff from Gibson to Judge Thomason. He'll find Pay Dirt 24 0 at the end of the first quarter and final score pirates win this one 51 to 14 over parkland and win their area round moving on now switching over to Cornell mustangs on the road to the mid mid luthian panthers we're going to be in the game with quarterback jack carroll dropping back looking away downfield overshoots and is picked off by junior corner xavion Jackson to bring the four yard touchdown. Moving all Mithalonian first quarter, but it's Coronado running back Antonio Malone, and he will shift that momentum. Breaks left, missed the cutting back with a huge lead up to this play right here. Malone will put the Mustangs on the board, driving two Panthers into their own end zone. 21 7 Mithalonian. Coronado would would it end the half the, as quietly though as Jack Carroll pumps fake right finds open Trevor Stevens the big man for the 60 yard touchdown strike bringing the score 21 to 14 at the half and final score the Mustangs will fall though to the Panthers so close 21 to 17 and a score update for you this happened yesterday New Deal taking on four sand and New Deal got the win just barely over them 28 to 24. Moving on, Shallow on Mustangs taking on the early Longhorns bottom, both teams with a 9-2 record. Caleb Cox gets the handoff, finds the hole, and gets in the end zone for the easy touchdown. The extra point is no good. 6-0 Mustangs. Next play, possession, shallow water majority. Major McCuller wide open downfield pass complete for the Mustang touchdown, 13-0. Moving to the second quarter now, Trey Bean gets a handoff, gets brought down. The ball is loose, and it's picked up by Brett Hall, and he runs all the way down the sideline to the end zone, 20 Three to zero with seven minutes to go. Final score: Mustangs will take this win, 43 to 14. Very impressive. Now over to Abernathy Antelopes taking on Ballinger Bearcats right before the end of the half. Abernathy ball, red zone snap by quarterback Jess Hull. He'll look and he decides to go for his sneaks in the end zone for the score. Abernathy up 21-13 at the half. A little later, the Antelopes really taking this thing running literally. It's the quarterback Jess Hull. He'll find Pager his fourth rushing touchdown of the evening as Abernathy wins this one over Ballinger 45-26. In our last game of this half of the Blitz, it's Roosevelt Eagles trying to stay perfect and go 12-0 facing the Alpine Bucks. First quarter, Roosevelt already up 8-0 and looking to punch it in a game, but the ball pops out and it's Oscar, Oscar Velasquez lands on it. Bucks with the turnover, but now they've got in the shadow of their own goal line, Jana Kanana. He just looks at the end zone, but he can't. It's JJ Diaz who wraps him up for the safety next series, the Eagles. And it's that leading man again. It's going to be Diaz. He's going to be free for the 21 yard shot. Boom, he just takes off. He's going to find Pater. It makes it 18 to 0. Final score Roosevelt stays undefeated 12 and 0 and wins 74 to 8.